All right, I got Johnny California right here, brand new student. He won the auction of this awesome bow, but more importantly, we got to shoot together. I'm giving him some instructions. Changed over to a handheld release, and we're about a full day now into you shooting a handheld release. So when that happens and you're brand new and learning something, you are slowly might start going back into some older habits just that are from your old style release. So something that's super, super critical when you're learning a handheld release is to learn that your hand should really be the most that you feel on the anchor position. The string and more importantly, the arrow, the vein, the arrow shaft is not something you should feel. Okay, so if you take a look here at this last shot John just made. So as I come in right here, I mean, honestly, from a technique point of view, right here, let's see, right there, you look great. Front shoulders down, all this is awesome. But what starts to worry me is that the more you get used to this, you start to kind of dig into the batter box a little bit. And by that, I mean, you can see right here, the facial pressure is marginal with this arrow shaft. For the most part, you have really good clearance. The string's not under your cheek. It's not like embedding in your cheek. However, you're pushing just enough to where this top vein here is starting to push on his bottom of his chin. And you can change that by the pressure that your anchor is on your face. When you dig this in, that arrow shaft is gonna come over too. So you can see here where that contact is. So I'm gonna take you down range as well, show you what happens. So on this last arrow, you can see we're left of center, okay? Quite a bit from where he's been shooting. And so the difference is, and I've kind of been watching you do this, uh, this was what I was waiting for. So if you think about it right here, this added pressure on the back of the arrow shaft. So if you have this arrow that needs to flow to the target center, or let's just put it right here, if you have facial pressure on the back of this arrow, essentially giving it a little push like that, where is the point of your arrow going? Right there. So when you have these little lefts that are unexplained, they can certainly come from grip pressure, torque in the grip, but in this case, 100%, just a little bit of added pressure on the face on the back of that arrow is going to cause the point to counteract that. It's going to go opposite and that's where you're going to send that arrow. So facial pressure has to be light and consistent. Feel the hand, but don't feel the arrow and don't feel the string. The string should almost feel like if you can imagine a little gnat or a spider crawling on your hair, you can feel like something's there but you don't want to have to press it in. That's one of the reasons why, to me, a kisser button is kind of a crutch because people try to embed that in a little bit too deeply. And when you want to feel the kisser button too deep on the lip, that arrow is sitting right beneath the kisser button. And depending on your facial features, especially people with a fuller face, especially people with a thicker beard, you have to be more conscious of drawing back coming over with light pressure and having perfect clearance underneath.